Townies. Townies, we We're got some exciting you. news to share with you. It's are, already started. We are launching a members only version of Dumb, Dumb People, People Town. Town. It's called Dumb People Town Plus. It's everything you already love about Dumb People Town but with some special benefits, too. Not only will we be uh, releasing exclusive episodes only available to members, Dumb People Town Plus episodes will be ad free. And available earlier for members than anyone else. The best part is you'll have that sweet, sweet satisfaction of knowing you are supporting our show. Dumb People Town Plus is available on our favorite podcast app. And it is my app where I get my I podcast. I get all my podcasts Himalaya. Here. I love Himalaya. All you have to do is download the Himalaya app. That's H-I-M-A-L-A-Y-A. And search for Dumb People Town. Then click Become a Member. It's just $5 a month. And uh, you can join up and get those episodes early, get them ad-free, get extra content. That's what we want you to do. Again, go to Himalaya, search for that Himalaya app, download it. It's free. Listen to all your podcasts through Himalaya, then become a member. Of search Dumb People, Dumb People Town. Town at $5 a month, and you get all that extra stuff. Once you do it now, you guys are loyal listeners. We love you, townies. Here's a way to bump it up to the next level. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. So listen to our podcast jam with co host Arm and Dan. Members, don't be a jerk. Cause when the music quits, the funny hits, and we are gonna take you down. Stick around. Hey Townies, welcome to a Friday episode of Dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Bornstein. Hello, how Zach are you guys? Bornstein. How are you, welcome buddy? To the oh show. my god, thank you guys for having so me. So happy to have you. Yeah, oh, that's man. so nice. Christ. Of you, guys. you are a phenomenal writer. You oh. are fantastic. A, a great follow on the old twits. Oh my god, get out of here. I'm, you want me to leave right now? Get out. I'm gone. Leave. Get him out of here. Scram! Uh, with those damn compliments. But I feel like you are uniquely and perfectly engineered. Genetically engineered? Mm-hmm. Is yeah. That, is yeah, that as Jews are we allowed to say that? Yes, exactly. Genetically, <laughs> and <laughs> you've been mangled into being the perfect person to do this show. Well, uh, we believe you. that the world's getting dumber. I don't know if that's your thought in, in this I think world. the things we hear about are getting dumber. But then, like, there's... There's just like so like there's people are just like building like quantum computers and shit and we just don't hear about it. Mm -hmm. It's just but the things that are so juicy that you want to talk about, that's for sure. So we're getting more access to dumb news. Yes. Oh my god, the access is is incredible. Dumb got a better PR guy. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Is dumb just whoever's PR for dumb is just killing it. Killing it, right? Get him out dumb. That's a great step. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Smart can't get can't get on the radio. When they go high, we go loud. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right, that's got to be a shirt, As Melania once said. When they go high, we go loud. When we go high, they go loud. That's right. Uh, So we get stories sent to us by our uh, wonderful, who are not dumb, but very smart listeners, and uh, we just try and make sense of them. So we got one sent to us. Do you want to jump into one right away? Let's Let's do it. it. Ready? Excited. A man. Ooh. Angry that a pickup truck, or just a man angry. Like, a man, welcome yeah. to 2019. Wow. A man <laughs> angry <laughs> that, that a pickup, pickup truck. truck. I don't even know what's coming next, but he's mad at an inanimate object. Well, yeah. he's definitely personified, or you know, yeah. the pickup truck. So now the pickup truck has personal traits. I saw a pickup truck t- uh, yesterday that was the tallest thing I've ever seen, and just on the side of it, it said "Vagina Guitars." Oh, <laughs> I you, you play everyone different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know the market for hey, it. Um, Oh, baby, I'm tuning you up. I can't <laughs> find the pick. Uh, no, I've I've <laughs> always Lord, brother. stop. stop it. <laughs> I you know the the thing I can't is, find the G chord. There, there it is. is. There the it G is. string is missing. Uh, <laughs> it ain't real. <laughs> oh, it ain't even real. <laughs> I don't think doesn't it's possible. exist. <laughs> so it's out of tune. This so we I drive by those Giant vans. Guitars. I I drive by those vans that say like. Like topless, topless maids. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. I'm like, what is the moment? Because you know the actual service of having whatever you have cleaned. They is do be, have to do some cleaning. It's gonna be they terrible. So do they show up with Dan, stuff? Imagine. You, you, imagine. We all know someone who called them, and I don't want to blow their spot up. But we all know name this names. Person. Name names. Okay. What was the girl from Casey? And uh, what's it? 
Lacey and Cagney? Cagney, Cagney and Lacey. Tyne, Tyne oh, Daly. Tyne Daly. Uh-huh. She called one of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That is obviously not who it is. No. Uh, <laughs> and they said that they will come over and do some light dusting, but then if if uh, if we hit it off, we can, we'll talk more. If we more. hit it off. Yeah. So wow. I just would love to have that moment where there's a topless person in your mm-hmm. house and you're like, Hey, listen. Uh, you need to you need to pull out my son's trundle. <laughs> I'm not gonna say this to you again. It's each figurine. Yeah. If you're not gonna clean all of the precious moments, why clean one? These are. I don't want a hummer. Hummer. I Just want you to, to be passive, fix my hummels. Passive aggressive. Clean my hummels. Don't give me a hummer. Right. You lock yourself in your Do office. You, even, you don't even look at them the whole time. <laughs> Do you even own a Dyson? Why are you here? You're good going around corners, but all right, damn. Uh, man, Matt. At a pickup truck. Wait, did you find out? Is it just vagina guitars? I didn't look, do any more research. Don't let I it was live. like I want that, that amount of like information, a, it and feels I went out like a Van Halen song that never made it on an album. <laughs> well, that's a new definition for a flying V. There it is. Guitar. Thank that you. was on the C side of their uh, tape. <laughs> is, that is, that also, is that a C cut? Uh, this story also comes to us from the Omaha World Herald. Uh-huh. Yeah, they have a tagline under their thing. Let's hear it. Yeah. Who wrote it? Do they wrote know? this as three different. Thoughts. Okay. It's interesting. But it should, you want these all to run together. Don't choose them individually. Real, fair, accurate. Period after each one. Okay. No, real, fair, and don't just choose which one you're doing. Real, Real, fair, fair, accurate. accurate. I guess. It's very Fox Newsy. Fair and balanced. Yeah. Uh, Who wrote wrote the article? Nancy Gar. I'm going to try this. Garder. There's too many A's in here. Gardner's close enough. No, it's classic Nancy Gardner. Classic Gardner. That's a classic. Classic Gardner. You can't keep her away from those pickup ang- truck stories. She's constantly gardening. <laughs> a man angry that a pickup truck had parked partly on the grass in front of his home. Like, now, no, a person parked that way. <laughs> just mad at Don't the truck. Don't blame the truck. <laughs> Sir, get out of there. I'm mad at your truck. <laughs> yeah, let me talk to the truck to for an hour. <laughs> Leave it on. I want to talk to it. People don't park on your long truck. Trucks park. park on your long uh, he was mad that the uh, truck had parked partly on the gl- grass in front of his home. Mm-hmm. Also, that's public property, mm-hmm. right? Sure. If you're well, on this side of the, if you're on roadside sidewalk, but if he's on the grass, then that's for it, real. What do you think happened? Guys? Was there that, any curb? It may have been one of those no curb. smooth curbs. No curb. No yeah. curb. And also, so might not kinda... be might not be a sidewalk. So uh-huh. yard could come all the way up to the street. The yard goes into the street. Right. It's in two lanes of traffic. Yeah. This so yard. Like, the it's yard encroaching. fizzles yeah, what out into gravel. That an easement. There's yeah. no, easement. there's hmm. a, the property line is not up to the gravel. No, it's an uneasement. This guy mm-hmm. definitely thinks his property line, property line goes three feet into the gravel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get part mm-hmm. of the street. I own the shoulder. That's what he told <laughs> uh, the, He was mad that it parked on the grass in front of his home. Took why, a, is, why is that news? <laughs> took a knife to the truck's tires. Now, no, now it's news. Now you no. want it to move? Now it's news. Yeah. Now, now you, you can't get it out of there. I, I know. <laughs> You're going to be scraping up your lawn That's with hubcaps. Right. <laughs> what are you doing, Well, man? now we're not going anywhere, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So you want this problem for a long time. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Hammered out the lights on a cement mixer across the street, to which those guys are like, oh, hey! hey! What do you want? Why? Who's got a phone? Someone's taping this. Someone's taping this. Don't throw those papers at that bird. (laughs) Like, it's just anything he sees outside. (laughs) Why does this guy have such an elaborate toolkit, too, that he brought up? Does he think that the cement truck let that happen? Yeah. (laughs) You knew this. He's just just mad at inanimate objects. He's like, this truck let that truck do that. And so now I'm going to take it out on that truck. Right. These automobiles are in cahoots. Yeah. (laughs) He couldn't, <laughs> couldn't fix his marriage, so he broke his spatula. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he hammered out the lights on a cement mixer across the street. Uh-huh. Then, this is my favorite part, then stomped through freshly poured concrete <laughs> and swore at men doing street repairs, a oh sheriff's report, God. and cell phone video indicate. I would oh just God. love to see the stomp. And I know it's <laughs> only in cartoons does it do this, but like for him to like be stomping really fast and then slow down. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, he's yeah. just He's getting lower with each step. <laughs> and he's stuck and one foot up. In quicksand would have been the yeah. only thing that would have been better. <laughs> the video was taken by one of the crew members. Of course. It shows the man wearing. I mean, that is the best lunch break ever. <laughs> ever. Because, like, these guys don't give a shit about what's happening. They're like, oh, I got to work for another two hours? Fine. <laughs> Whatever. I get overtime. Guess it, I get to go home early. It shows the man wearing cut off brown overalls, a red t shirt, and a baseball cap across the street f- to the cement mixer where he asks the person videoing him, You got this? You ready? Nothing good ever happens. <laughs> you, I don't care what it is. You got this? You ready? Let's serve this soup kitchen. Yeah, right. yeah. Usually it's like, You, you got, got this? You ready? ready? I'm going to do a backflip in 
this bar. Like, you've <laughs> no, never done no, it. Back. No, <laughs> you got nowhere this. to land. <laughs> Daddy, you, there's nowhere to land. You move that table. It's not going to matter. No, no, no you no. might hit it outside. Yeah. Uh, you got this. You ready. ready before he starts hammering at the mixer's lights. Mm. Ooh. I like that he finally talked to a person at the end, though. I he know, was just it's, yelling at trucks for no, a while. No, no, he, well, he the person to document him. No, he could have just been talking to the phone. Oh, because sure. he believes <laughs> that the phone is the thing that takes the yeah. video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, phone, you got this? You ready? <laughs> yep. Take the video. I put down that guy who's holding you in. <laughs> Let's get talk this. about this. <laughs> also, Mixer's Lights sounds like a knockoff of White Claw to me. Yeah, yeah. Mixer's, yeah. Lights. Mixer's Lights. Mixer's Lights. Mm-hmm. Mixer's um, lights. That's a good drink. Quote, I want that truck off my lawn, he yells. Like Beth. Bethany, like Bethany Frankel came up with Mixer's Light. Yes, exactly. and it's crushing it. Right? It's yes. like, it's the way to make a margarita it's, with half the calories. It's, Give me that! You, guys it's know, like, you know what got announced like yesterday? As she's got recordings. her own sketch comedy show. <laughs> no. Because you know that's what she wants to do. Uh, what? I did not know that. Yeah, she oh, wants wow. to be a sketch comedian. Uh, White Claw has put out a pumpkin spice flavor. Mm, it They're was bound to happen. Because that's the epitome of Houston basic stars, bitches like yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, It comes in an Ugg boot. It does. Yeah, you have to drink, drink it, it straight yeah, up and straight out. Up, straight <laughs> up. And if you buy enough cases, you can trade it in for an autumnal scarf. Okay. Aww, oh, stop that's that's kind of nice. Yeah. The man, Thomas Maillander, has been ticketed on suspicion of suspicion. Is it a male or a female lander? Male lander. <laughs> okay, good. good. Just want to make sure. M A I L. Oh, male. Oh, okay. Wow. Male lander from male lander. Meaning they used to land mail. Some sort of Ellis Island. <laughs> yeah. Wherever the male Ma- lands, magic. that's where I am. <laughs> Just don't let it land on my lawn. Uh, he's been ticketed on suspicion of criminal mischief, says Douglas County Sheriff Lieutenant Rob That's Jones. That's not suspicion. He did it. They right. got it on video. Yeah. We got it. We, you got this? Yeah. <laughs> the incident occurred Thursday morning on Potter Street in the Deerwood Park area, which is northwest of the intersection of Blair High Road and Ida Street. So mm. that is all you need for the dumb people town walking Put it on tour. the walkie yeah. tour. You know Boom. where to go. I don't think Nancy captured all of this in the headline i'll be honest because just mad at pickup truck doesn't <laughs> fully capture agree. it's like man mad at pickup truck so, and loses his, his mind. mind right yeah, yeah it just goes yeah, crazy right. starts breaking shit yeah, gets his hardware tools out <laughs> something happened before today man yeah. mad at pickup truck makes crispin glover seem sane <laughs> that's a, <laughs> that good, headline. a, that's that's a good, good headline man yeah. mad at pickup truck Shows us why men shouldn't be in power. <laughs> yeah, there you go. These are Pulitzer headlines now. <laughs> Later in the video, after hammering at the back of the cement mixer, Mail Lander steps into the wet concrete and then stumbles <laughs> through it. He falls down uh, as he uh, tries uh, as he tries to extricate himself. And you know he was like, "Go help me, Go, sir! I got it." If that sets, you are in trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> well, I'm not in trouble. Oh yeah. Still glad uh, you wore cut off overalls, bro. <laughs> Who's talking to me? The forklift. <laughs> oh, <laughs> laughing at me, forklift, <laughs> sir. I love embarrassment based with concrete because there's a record forever. It's like now people are going to ask, why is there these dips and handprints in there? Why well, is there a knee print? Those are male landers. <laughs> those are ma- Jeez. Once out of the muck with the hammer still in one hand and his feet. <laughs> he kept the hammer. And other caked in wet concrete. <laughs> he walked over to the thing and hit the thing. Uh, we will get into it right after we talk. Oh, oh, right. oh man. Right Teasing on, us. Yeah, I love dirty it. Dog. More dumb people down right after this. Stick around, make a sound, there's more dumb people town. Hey, it's me, Daniel Van Kirk, breaking into this ad portion to tell you about my tour. Um, all of everybody who listens to Dumb People Town and Pen Pals, I love you guys. And I just want to let you know that I'm probably coming to a city near you or to a city near people you know, they live there. So come out and see me. Go to danielvankirk.com. This is all going to start the final run of the Together Tour. On the I'm doing the 13th. We're doing a live Dumb People Town. So... You can come to that. But then on the 14th, I will be in Philly, and then I will be in Baltimore, and then I will be in Chicago. I'm headlining Zanies in Chicago. It's my first time headlining a club in Chicago, Illinois, and I would love to have so many of you people come out to Zanies. That's the 16th through the 19th of October, and then I get right back into that Together Tour the next day on the 20th, and I'm going to Detroit, and then I am going 
to Rochester and then Boston and Albany and New York and Cleveland. And then I pick back up in November on the 11th and I'm doing Louisville uh, and Nashville and Milwaukee and Cincinnati, probably not that order. And then I end my tour on Friday, November 15th in Rochelle, Illinois. So if any of those cities are close to you, please come out and hang out with me. Come to those shows. I would love to see as many people there. I think we're doing it at Hilarities in Cleveland. That's going to be super fun. That's a, a Friday night, and there's so many other great shows as well. Obviously, New York and Philly and upstate New York. You guys have been asking me to come there, so I am. Boston as well. Again, go to Daniel Van Kirk dot com to catch me on the together tour as i wrap this up for everybody who's come out to shows in the past i love you and i appreciate you and everybody who's going to come out let's hug and say hi daniel van com the together tour thanks hey guys welcome back to dumb people town uh before we go any further in this story yeah. uh we should mention some dates uh we are in Depending on when this this drops, should drop right before the, we go uh, to uh, in yeah. October October thirteenth we are doing a live Dumb People Town at the Bell House in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Michael Che on the show and just added a partner on Shala. Oh, she's wonderful. Oh, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, so we're very excited to have her on the show and and him on the show, and then we may be getting a musical guest on that show as well. Guys, come into the city. Uh, come in, come check friends. it out, and then we may do a second show, a totally different if we show. Can sell it out. Yeah, Let's do it. Uh, so a tight fun. five from Mailander. <laughs> Mailander is going to do his cement set. That'd be nice. <laughs> uh, and actually, the weekend after that, I will be at Zany's in Chicago. Look at but, that. And then uh, a whole bunch of tour dates that should be out by now. So go to DanielVanKirk.com. I'm all over the Midwest and the East Coast wrapping up the Together Super Tour. Supersclarers.com is us, and we have a number of dates. It's coming up, including we haven't been to Comedy on State in a while. We're coming back there in March, March 12th. Hey, hey, Madison, Hey-o. Wisconsin. Uh, you, sir, Zach, have a uh, little thing that you're doing on a Comedy, Comedy Central, Central Original. Yes, sir. Tell it's a new a talk about. show called My Least Favorite Thing, where mm. I uh, talk to celebrities while we do their least favorite thing. And Which guess. is like driving to LAX. Driving to LAX. Laundry. Could be, uh, yeah, laundry could be facing their fear of snakes. It Ooh, could be God, uh, confrontation. Christ. We make them actually confront Ooh, people I in their like lives. It, oh. Firing off an angry raw. email. I love yeah, it. Stuck and in all the cement. while you're interviewing them? Yes. In the midst exactly. of them doing this while horrible thing. While they're furious. Thing. I love while it. people are parking on their lawn. My least That's favorite awesome. thing. Yes. Check it out. That's That'll be available so on Comedy Central. There you go. It's on TV. I love it. Got to Woo-hoo! love it. Uh, all right, Daniel, bring us into, back into That's this great story. idea for a show. Thank okay. you. So I said later in the video, after hammering at the back of the cement mixer, Mailander then stepped into the wet concrete, then fell, <laughs> and then tried to extricate, extricate himself. Can I help you with that, sir? Is that no. quick setting? That would be my favorite part of the video, <laughs> is the lull after he's fallen. And they're like, do we? Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let go let of the hammer, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, let him get up. I want to see him get up. <laughs> Once out of the muck with the hammer still in one hand and his feet and the other caked in wet concrete, how long do you have before that sets? I don't know. I've never 20 minutes? It depends on the dry, it. so it depends on how hot it is. In sure, cartoons, sure. it's like 30 <laughs> 20 seconds. Yeah. Max. Um, can we get a bucket in here of it? He can in then, the Barber of Seville. <laughs> <laughs> he can had. then be seen confronting <laughs> Carrie Jackson, co-owner of Jackson's Complete Concrete. Not complete anymore. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Jackson asks. I am concrete. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Carrie Jackson says, and this is perfect, you've got a guy covered in cement. He's, He's already just, knocked yes. out lights on your cement truck. Mm-hmm. And you could come in hot, right? But what's the best thing to do with you? This is all he says. Everything all right? Yeah, the worst. Uh, the worst. Deflate them like down to uh, patroni- patronize the uh, bottom. Are we done? You having a good day? Yeah. Carrie good Jackson. Day? Carrie Jackson. I haven't seen him. He has gone as Dog the Bounty Hunter for Halloween. For oh, yeah. For sure. Halloween. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. drove around the next day still in costume. Just to <laughs> right, See what's up, going on over here. Picked up five bounties. At which point, Mail Maillander responds, everything all right. Does everything look all right to you, you dumb fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did fuck make it into the newspaper? Uh, F and then four periods and oh, then a question mark. Wait, wow. Dan, it is... Okay, male lander. Now, I haven't seen the Highlander movie. I haven't seen it. There can it. be only one male lander. There can be only one male lander. That was what I was asking. Yes. Number two, is this the new fantasy movie like series? The Beyond <laughs> oh, Highlander. Yes. yes. Male yeah. lander. Male lander. Male lander's academy. And I would call it You've Got Male Lander. <laughs> That's perfect. <too. laughs> That's perfect. Everything all right? I love that he repeats it. Everything, everything all right. right? Does everything look all right Does to everything you? Everything look all right to you? you? Dumb fuck. I want that truck off my lawn. You mean the truck that no longer has work? 
shifting tires. <laughs> right. Or the truck that you're now going to bash the headlights out right, of. Right, because he, he's mad about the the truck the truck on yeah. the line. The pickup truck the on F-150 the F-150 I wish right. I owned. Yeah. And then he's also now hitting the cement truck, right? Yeah, that's right. right. So yeah. he goes, I want that truck off my lawn. Carrie Jackson tells Mail Lander that he doesn't know who Who's, owns that that's, truck. That's a great, oh, great. Of course. Great. Yeah. Of course. Oh, even, if why you would do, he know? even if you do, you say, I have no idea. I don't know that, that is. It could be his truck. Even, right. you know, uh, that is fess. definitely his truck. Shortly thereafter, the video ends and sheriff deputies arrive and ticket Mail Lander. Jackson is said he later found out who owns the pickup truck? Oh my God. It, it was a son visiting his mother who lived across the street from oh, Mailander. Oh. So this guy. So can I just say something, though? Mailander is right to go after the cement truck because apparently the cement truck parked in the spot that that truck would have parked in. Oh. So now the cement truck forced this guy to go on his lawn, so he's got to oh, take a boat That's some angry effect. guy logic. That's some yeah. Mailander logic right I was there. hoping it would be Mailander's son and he just forgot that he parked outside his house. <laughs> it's uh. not time to make a change. He doesn't Daddy, know his own no. son. <laughs> doesn't know it's his, his own, own son. truck. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is like a memento situation. Yeah. <laughs> he looks at his arm. Mail, is it? mail mento. There it, there it is. is. You could be my John G. Yeah. <laughs> the citation, uh, he could not, Mailander could not be reached for comment, which to me means they didn't even try. No. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Gardner should have tried because he'll talk to you. Yeah. All you got to do is just go to the lawn and turn on a tape recorder. Yeah. You'll yeah. get Just pull up just on the front of the lawn just a little bit. He'll come out. You but, can whisper Mailander wherever you are, he'll show up. Three, <laughs> three times. Three times. Say his name. Say his name three times. <laughs> Caked in cement. <laughs> the citation is for a misdemeanor based on 500 to $1,500 and damage, Jones mm. said. That's uh, Sergeant Jones, I believe, or new lieutenant. Should the damage to the trucks total more than 5000 Mailander would be charged with a felony. And the actual property where the truck was parked, it was on a public right-of-way, Jones oh, said. So there you right. go. God, I did not know that. I will ask you guys now, and we will then get out of this. On this. How, yes. How old do you think that Mr. Mailander is? Okay. 14. <laughs> I wish. Come on, for real. He's Thomas Mailander. God, it's good. He owns a hammer. He, it. he owns a he hammer. Owns a- <laughs> he feel he's lived long enough to feel like he's been wrong. He's wearing yes. a baseball cap. He has property, or at least is renting property that mm-hmm. he takes ownership of. Sure. There you go. He's around enough to be sick of these guys and their cement. Who is the type of guy that would be mad that you park on your lawn? How mm. old is that type of person? And would ask, be willing well, to fight. That's right. Because he could I'm not wanting to dissuade you guys, but as I thought about this too, of like, well, what would be sides of both? A young guy, it could be, we're trying to make meth in here. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Get out of here. Why are you so close to my property? Get right. off He's my property. He's inviting suspicion, though, by going Th- insane. That's what these druggies do. Yeah, yeah he yeah, doesn't yeah. He might not be himself. thinking ahead. Look at that problem out <laughs> it's there. It's like no versus... one will know we're doing anything wrong. Look at all the tinfoil we have in the windows. <laughs> no one will have any clue that we're doing <laughs> anything wrong. Look at the explosion that just came out of the chimney. Right. All right, you are a guest. Do you want to go first, take or third, Zach? He's 38. 38 years old. All right, Jason Aran. He's 57. 57 Ooh. from Jason Sklar. I think he's 49. 49 mm-hmm. from Randy Sklar. Townie. It sounds old, but it's very close to us. Get your answers in right now, and please play along with us wherever you're at, loudly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Because Scream it. Thomas Mailander is 70 years old. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. And here is the video. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, po- po- and it'll video. be posted on the Facebook page. Guys, oh my God. join the Facebook page. Join us Look on Patreon. Look at him. Oh, that. No. Walking through Look at him. Oh, He's just picking him up and putting him down. It gets harder as he man. goes, you can tell. Oh, he makes it almost all the way edge, and yeah. then he falls backwards. I form. wish I had that energy at 70. New form That's of all I want. <laughs> to be able to and stomp way, through concrete, no problem. Nobody helping up. Stomping to the oldies. Nobody helping him out. You know, this is a nicer neighborhood than I would expect. Uh, it's like yeah. it looks. It looks gated. Yeah, <laughs> it does look it, really nice. Would you help him? Nope. No, I no. wouldn't either. Not if he's got a hammer in it. Yeah, he's got a hammer. <laughs> Daniel post that video on the Facebook page. I will uh, right. join the Facebook page if you haven't yet, and uh, and join our Patreon. We got lots of extra. Uh, we have some great Patreon stories for you on that. Oh, they're the best. Extra content. So we bring the stories. Dan gets to listen to them. Uh, play along. Now's your chance to be a part of that. Follow and, Zach Bornstein uh, on uh, the old Twitter. Want to let yeah. them know what the old handle is so they at do. Zach Bornstein. Z-A-C-K. 
B O R N S T E I N. Real simple. And I cannot Twitter wait for follow, the. Man. Yeah, you're so funny. So oh, funny. Thank you. And I and cannot wait for amazing. the talk show, dude. The talk oh, show. I'm so excited. When do we? Really when do we think this? There's might... three. There's three like sample episodes up right now, and uh, we got some more coming. Great. Love it. And people can find it at Comedy Central. Central. Yeah, yeah. ComedyCentral.com or on the YouTube page. Let's Woo-hoo. do it. And uh, oh shit, we gotta get back to work. Dum 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 dum. Make a sound, hunker down, it's dumb people town. Stop it, it's a podcast. <clears throat> a podcast network.